ladies and gentlemen welcome back to monday night raw and you know how we do it here you know how we like to do it we starting the night off with the return of big e to action big e back here on monday night after making his return last week to fight to distract jake speaking of jay johnson he's gonna come out here it looks like he's gonna oh he's going straight after big e big tilt around takedown from the back of big e he ain't just getting that vicious clothesline you know the nightmare is not happy with how last week had turned out where big e had came out and basically distracted jay long enough to where xavier woods could pick up the win and take the nightmare out of the tournament but adam pierce before the night went off the air jay gets that big huge knee right there did grant jay the opportunity to work his way into the triple threat match at backlash this upcoming sunday by defeating big e here at night and i'm excited to see what they're gonna do so jay immediately coming out strong against Big E as he's just very pissed off you can tell as he keeps stomping at the lower back of Big E here Big E hasn't even got his ring coat off yet his interest coat off and Jay's just attacking him going after that injury Big E was out for a long time with that neck injury here and the Nightmare gonna go ahead and pick Big E up here Ooh, Big E trying to come back now but the Nightmare not letting him get any offense in here and that big running knee to the jaw and another one up for good measure and there the nightmare guy looks like he try, looks like he's thinking about some vicious things that he wants to do kind of just staring at the ring contemplating if he wants to even get this match underway and now he's gonna go ahead and come over here to the announcer's table side he looks oh oh he's just grabbing a chair oh this is not gonna be good as big he's running over and jay oh my gosh jay viciously attacking Big E, but Big E trying to fight back and Jay with the big knee. Putting Big E down once again. The nightmare is feeling it. And Big E finally able to take off his coat. And Jay with the huge pose on. This match hasn't even got underway yet, ladies and gentlemen. This is all this match isn't even like classic for Southern Fire. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so flabbergasted about what's going on here from the nightmare. And Big E trying to roll out the way, and now we're finally getting some offense in here. Gonna go ahead and pick the Nightmare up and just plant him down on the mat. And Big E kicked to the gut. Trying to throw Jay off the hardest part of the ring, but Jay smashing him off of it. The referee's trying to get this match underway. Mm. Big E, I am far from done with you. In the main event, I'm going to do exactly the same exact thing I just did, but even worse. I'm going to make sure, specifically, you get put back on injury reserve, you get put back at home. Let this be a lesson to anybody who wants to step in the nightmare's business. You will get put down the same exact way every single time. And ladies and gentlemen, wel welcome back to Monday Night. It has been a chaotic night. We had a inter we, sorry, we had a tag team championship match earlier in the night. Though we have a new women's champion. This is it's just been a crazy night. I completely forgot that the Nightmare and Big E still have a one on one match in the main event. Earlier in the night, the Nightmare viciously attacked Big E before the matchup which is why he's making his interest first now because Big E not only refused to but Adam Pierce didn't even let him come out second in fear that Jay might attack Big E again this is this just has been an insane night ladies and gentlemen I, I I'm trying to gather my thoughts and trying to you know get myself back here I mean Jesus Christ at least we're finally getting this matchup once again ladies and gentlemen the winner if Jay is able to win this match, he is added to the United States Championship match at Backlash this Sunday. But if Jay is unsuccessful, then he goes to the back of the line. That is it for him. He is not able to challenge the United States Championship again until he works his way back up to the very top. It all comes down to if Big E 
can get the job done with you know Xavier Woods will be watching this match along with Tommaso Ciampa who has been one of the longest reigning United States champions in history defending that championship day in and day out he calls it Goldie and Goldie has been doing a great job with him but Big E working his way down so he's trying to feel himself he's trying to get it going he's trying to feel the vibe of the crowd and here comes the nightmare once again before the belly brings a stop to the head Jay stomping to the head but the referee calling for the bell and this match is underway and Jay's gonna get that power bomb and knee combo that he was able to open up Xavier Woods with last week and Jay still attacking that lower back and neck region of Big E but this match is underway it is official we are going to have a main event and Jay is all over Big E Big E once again not even out of his entrance gear the nightmare stomping on the chest and neck region of the, speaking again, there he goes, stomping on it again. The chest region of Big E. You know he is angry, he is furious, he is pissed off at what Big E did to him last week. And you know he has one thing on his mind, and that is retribution. As he's coming out with some strong striking, tapping the lower base of Big E. Big high knee to the head. And a big running knee to the jaw of Big E. As Jay's now going up to the very tip top. It's shooting star press. He gets every bit of it. And he believe that is enough to put Big E away. One, two, and Big E kicks out at the at the count of two. You're showing he has some heart in him. Jay going over and big suplex, almost getting Big E's legs caught up into a rope stair. He said he wanted to injure Pete Big E. He wanted to put him back on that injured reserve list. I can't really imagine what sick, the sick, if I can even speak, Linja, I cannot speak correct, correctly tonight. It's just been a long day. A lot of crazy things happening in this show, as I told you before. Jay with the toe fake on the Helio over the top of on a Biggie Langston. And Jay still hammering this onto the floor. Jay showing a new vicious, showing the same vicious side he showed against Seth Rollins. But taking it up just a tad bit more as he's still targeting that upper shoulder region of Big E. And along with that lower back kick to the jaw, he wants to hurt Big E. He keeps targeting the same area over and over again. Look at, do we have twins in the audience back there? We have twins in the audience in the front row. Sorry, ladies, that just that caught me off guard. I told you it has been this same night here for Monday night. And the fact that I'm just now noticing we have twins in the audience is crazy. Big running high knee into the corner from the nightmare. And he could be looking for that patented inverted Frankensteiner. Planning Big E in the corner one more time. Power bomb knee combo to possibly have not Big E out cold. And Jay thinks that could be enough to put Big E away one in a rope break from Big E. Like his song says, you want to go big, we'll say that, and Jay is going big, and he is speaking facts right now. That was corny as hell, but I'm still going to leave it in there. Jay kicks to the knee. We haven't seen this one in a long time, but Jay with the Oakland Sunrise planning Big E, and that could be it. One, two, and oh, Big E kicks out again. Big E is fighting for the right of Xavier Woods to have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity at the United States Championship. An opportunity he hasn't had in a long time. And Jay with this devastating knee. You can tell that he really wants to put Big E out of his misery. Oh my God. Putting a little bit more off on that last one. Oh, now he's busting Big E wide open with these kicks. And still targeting the upper region of you. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! The referee, the ref might call off the match with these devastating knees from the Nightmare Jay with the knee lift, picking them up and planting them down. And that is gonna be it. That's it right there. One, 
to. Oh my gosh, Big E kicks out again. And the Nightmare cannot believe what he is witnessing. Big E kicking out of Jay's signature move. And Jay, as Big E was asking for it, oh, Big Lee. You can tell that Jay really loves these knees. These knees are devastating. They cause, this, they, they cause a lot of issues for the opponents later in the matchup. As you can see, Big E, he's not fully there, but he's there enough to at least pick Jay up and plant him down with a suplex. I'm sorry, a power slam, not even a suplex. My apologies. And Big E trying to not a come back in this matchup. Taking it to the Nightmare J, able to duck under one more time with this old oh, high knee to the jaw of Big E. Picking him up one more time for the suplex, patting him down. And Jay, one more time going to the top row. Big E able to roll under the apron, I mean, under the ropes right here. And Jay trying to fight back with Big E, able to reverse that form with a form of his own. Jay with a jab, rolling forearm, misses. And Big E with a right hand and a huge right clothesline. And Big E is feeling it. Oh, drop. Over the top drop from Big E. And Big E planting the nightmare onto the mat. And Jay kicks it out at the count of two. Jay has pulled out all the stops and attempts to put Big E away. But Big E is still here and is still doing what Big E does. You have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a former WWE Tag Team Champion, a former WWE Intercontinental Champion, a former NXT Champion, and a former WWE Champion in Big E. The master of the five second count, and he is taking it to the nightmare. He's bloody, he's bruised, He's hurting, but he's not giving up as he gives John he gives Johnson another show and tackle right here. And A up to the very tippity top. Going to the outside. And he's planning the double axe handle onto the back of the nightmare. And Big E trying to wear the nightmare down the best way he can. That's using brute force. And using that strength to his advantage as he's going right back up to the very top rope. He's gonna wait for the nightmare to get to his feet. Double axe handle even harder this time, playing Jay on his ass. And running splash from Big E, he could be enough one. And Jay kicks out at the one. I think that's just pure. I don't even think that that was. I feel like that was instinct and drilling. Jay doesn't. I don't think Jay knows where he's at, but Big E set him up. For the big Andy, he has it all. Big Andy hits. Big Andy, one, two, and oh, Jay kicks out of the big ending. That move has won Big E multiple championships here in the WWE. He's looking for it again, and Jay finally fighting back. He saw it coming this time. Oh, European uppercut to Big E. And Jay looking even more pissed off than he was before. Kick to the gut of Big E has him up. Can he plant him down? No Big E escapes from the back. Jay fighting him off again. Kick high knee. Planting, planting him down at Jay. One more time looking for it. Kick to the gut. He hooks him. It's up. Brain buster. One, two. Three, and the nightmare moves on to the triple threat match at Backlash. That is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. My name has been Seth J27. Like, subscribe. Please do all that. Comment down below. Let me know where y'all think the story should go. I'm out. Peace.